Hey everyone, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today I would like to show you custom post listing that allows you to link to a custom URL instead of its WordPress single post URL. So actually there is a plugin for that. It's called Page Links 2, but if you have Jet Engine plugin, so you don't need to have it. Yeah, so I'd, I'd be working on a Japanese website here. So this is the news section and then this is a date and then this is just title and then uh, this is a little PDF link uh, icon here and then also if it's external link uh, it's right here so now uh, they requested that instead of taking a user to a single WordPress post just click the title and then here is a PDF jump to PDF and then there's a little icon here too they requested that too so same thing if you click this jump to PDF all right and then uh, if it's an external link, takes to external link. All right, so this can be achieved with Jet Engine plugin uh, quite easy. So let me show you how. So first you have to go to Jet Engine and then create a custom post type. Uh, it's very simple. I use that, it's called news. Uh, you can see that. So I, let me show that to you. All right, so this is just a name is news. Uh, see the slug is news and then just take a quick look at the advanced settings now so this is uh, I just need a title so I don't really need editor actually and then so I added just one uh, meta field it's called a URL link so this this is just you can call it a custom link right and then this is just the object type is field and this is just simply text is okay Okay, and then update post type or add a post type. Okay, so that's it. Now the next one is uh, I'm adding a, a taxonomies. Okay, so I've already added, it's called the news format. See that the news for format and then take a quick look here inside. All right, so the post type is, uh, this is a news I just created, right? And then and I added the one meta field, which is an icon image. And I'm using a meta field, uh, sorry, media. And then this is just a media uh, URL. Now, the reason is because uh, I just wanted to add a little tiny icon here, one for PDF and one for external link. And then, so advanced settings, one thing is, uh, yeah, so I usually turn this on, hierarchical uh, option should be enabled. And then just add taxonomy or update. And then let's go to, so here's a news right here. And then this is a news format here. Yeah, sorry that uh, things are in Japanese, but you can see here is an icon image and you can upload that. So I got the PDF format and the external link. So PDF and the external, okay? So if you look at the PDF, so you see there's a tiny icon. Uh, you can put any uh, image here too. And then uh, just go back, external link, kind of similar. So I got uh, this little image here, okay? And then, so I show, I'm gonna show you this uh, listing template. So go to uh, Jet Engine and then listings. And I think this one, so this is a uh, news uh, listing in Japanese and then uh, let's go open up uh, with Elementor Okay, so I got only three widget here Okay, so the first one is so this is just the dynamic meta Okay, so this is just the date and then because that's in Japanese So I have to just uh, change the format. Okay, so it's kind of fun and the next one is title so this is just the um, headings uh, with Elementor. And then uh, the title is current object field. I'll show you. So it's gonna be just title, post title, and then default object, that's it, all right? And then now, so you can add links. Okay, so now, so I'm picking, so this external link. Now actually, I'm gonna go back to show you. So this is new, so I'm gonna just open up one so here, so just is just title right here. 
and uh, here is the custom URL link so you can just uh, uh, paste that so this it must be external link right and then I have PDF as well yeah this must be PDF All right so title right here and then external link so this is a PDF and I just checked PDF okay and then you, you just adjust the date so now let's go back to Elementor editor here so then just pick the URL custom link okay now the next one is a little tiny icon here so this is just the image I just dropped the image uh, again so this is not really dyna dynamic e image and then just uh, choose uh, taxonomy which taxonomy it's gonna be the news format uh, remember that I just created a news format and then so meta field is icon image so let's let's quickly go back here all right so go back here jet engine and then taxonomies and then news format right and then I created this icon image so this name ID icon image okay so I just copy this and then uh, paste on to right here okay and then that's it so I'll uh, just go take a look at the uh, Elementor on this page and then uh, here so I'm just using a listing grid and then which listing this is a news listing and then column is just one all right so um, yeah and I just added the, uh, this button here to like load more okay and let's just go back all right and if you click that just a PDF pop up and also uh, let me show you just home page too like same idea um, so this is the latest news um, it's kind of same same element and I just add that this is dynamic link uh, comes with jet engine and then the same thing you can just look at the PDF file okay oh just one sec one thing uh, I'd like to show you right here so when you add link here um, so make sure if this external PDF just open in new window okay just I forgot to mention that same here I think I did the same here as well oh right here yeah open in a new window okay so let's try add a new post yeah I'm gonna put the English uh, content here so I'm gonna put the Apple environmental progress report which is uh, here's a PDF here with Apple size so I'm gonna copy this link and then go back to my page here and paste onto this custom link all right and make sure you put the PDF check so that the little icon PDF icon shows up and then uh, so it's gonna be today's date so 2024 February 23rd so let's go to the new section it's right here okay so now little icon shows up here and if you click that yeah so this is a today's date uh, February 23rd and then click and then here it is the Apple environmental progress report all right so that's it for today and I hope you like it and <laughs> this is just a little trick uh, I just want to share with you all right so I'll see you next time